Mandy, this is the Dymo Mimeo Vote, and already I'm looking at this, and I see the, the, the same design that I saw in the Mimeo Teach. It looks as though you've, you've thought of not just the function here, but also the design as being part of that function. First off, if you look at the form factor that the tray has, it ha incorporates our arc design, and here it has a rather functional piece. Rather than having giant hand holders on the mm -hmm. side, if I can get you to lift on your All side, right. this is how a teacher would pick it up and oh, move it around. It's pretty easy. So it's one of the things that is functional and you know is aesthetically pleasing. You notice when you take the unit and put it down, it will automatically pair itself with the station and automatically renumber itself. So if you, if you wanted to buy another response unit and bring it in the classroom, there's no setup, there's no pairing, you just drop it in and start using it. And also when students return the units, they can just return it to any slot and they pick it up from the correct slot in the morning and you don't have to worry about student, you know, Michael needs unit one and Sarah needs unit two. Doesn't matter where it goes? No. Drops in, it'll absorb that number and it'll automatically start recharging. So again, you don't have to worry about battery power and you don't have to worry about the order that you return units in. Wherever you seat it, that's the number it becomes. So it's very easy. So you could have young, really young students do this. We designed the device so it could be held in a number of different ways. The first and most common way is holding it like a game controller, like so. And so it's held like a cell phone or a video game controller. And here you notice that within one sweep, you can reach all the buttons very easily. Another way you can hold it is in one hand and then you would cup your fingers underneath and you notice that the shape sort of follows the line of my fingers. And now I can use it one-handed. Another way you can use it is you could rest it in your off hand. You notice how again it follows the line of my fingers there. And then I would press the buttons with my other hand in what we call menu mode. Another way you can use it is the entire bottom is rubberized. So you can rest it on a flat surface and then just press it while it's sitting on a desk.